Hello scrappers. Today I'm going to help answer the common question of is it worth breaking your scrap down to its separate metals. I have many examples here of copper wrapped ferrite and a couple of others. I have weighed them and calculated their value. Here are the recent rates from a couple days ago from a local scrap yard that were used to calculate the value. We start up here you can see the the weights are in the black sharpie on the cardboard that is in ounces so 0.315 ounces was if you put the whole thing in your motors bucket if you break it down and separate the copper from the ferrite you've got 0.15 ounces of copper for the calculations here, I use number two for everything. I find most of the yards, unless you have maybe something thick, thicker like this, they're generally going to give you number two for everything. So as you can see here, this is less than a penny, just as is. If you take it apart, you're looking at about two and a half cents. It's another example here. Without doing anything to it, it's worth about a penny. That's this, this one here. And if you separate it, this weight here is the copper. So 0.495 ounces. Worth about two and a half cents as well. If you could take this apart in about a minute, you're looking at the equivalent of about a dollar an hour. This one here, you'll find probably in most appliances with the wires connected to it. There's no copper in there, just a few pieces uh, of brass generally. So without doing anything to it, I, I assume that you had to throw it in with the light iron that was mixed with the plastic. In that case, it's basically worth zero, not even one, one penny. If you separate it out, and you're barely, barely over one cent. Makes you wonder if that one's worth your time, doesn't it? Next here, we have the 0.46 ounces, as is, this one here. And if you end up breaking it down, you get a couple different colors here. And then this piece here, you can see without doing anything to it, you're less than a penny. You separate it out, you're about three and a half cents. Uh, you're looking at about $1.70 an hour there, if you can if you can do it in, in about a minute. It may take you a little longer to, to unwind all that. Another piece here, so if you find these on circuit boards, you can pull them out, and they look like this. They have a couple pieces of copper on there. Sometimes you find some of these that have a couple pieces of brass and a couple pieces of copper. So if you end up with just this, and then those couple pieces of copper there, you have a comparison of less than a cent. When you take it apart, you basically still had a cent. Because there's just so little copper there. Moving on to this guy here. As is, you're not even at a cent, at a half an ounce. If you unwind it, they're about four cents. This guy here is a little heavier, a little, little over 2.6 ounces. This one I had to clip each of these off with wire cutters instead of unraveling it. Um, hitting this guy with a hammer was uh, pretty stubborn. So that, then you end up with this pile here. So without doing anything to it, you're looking at about four cents, again based on these prices here. Take it apart and separate it, you're looking at about 22 cents. So you're starting to get into a pretty good difference there, depending on how fast you can do that. This one here, a little ferrite donut, just about an ounce even, about a penny and a half. If you take it apart, un unwind it off the ferrite, 
you're looking at about seven cents here. S similar donut, just a little bit bigger. It has a few different strands of wire in there. I separated them out just so you could see. Um, generally, when you break this and you pull it all off, these are all intertwined. So with, without separating them all, you should be able to do it in about a minute. Between hitting this with a hammer and stretching it out and pulling those out, you got a little under four cents as is. You're moving up to about 18 cents if you separate it. If you can do it in a minute, you're looking at if the difference be about $14 an hour. This one here, just a little piece of copper wrapped around. One of these guys here, a piece of ferrite. And it's not worth much because it's, it's so small. It's closer to zero than it is one cent. One little piece of copper there. You're barely looking at one cent here. If you can unravel this in 20 seconds, you're looking at a difference of about $2 an hour. Moving across here, if you, if you unravel this guy, you really have to do it by hand. No, no other way to do it effectively. So you end up with this and then some copper. So again, this one's basically under a, a cent. You separate it out and you're looking at about three cents. Moving down to this guy here, looking at, if you round up, you're looking at two cents as it is. You separate it out, you're looking at about nine cents. You can see the weights there. These guys here, so we're looking at as is, just under four cents. Unravel, unravel it, you're looking at a pretty decent amount of copper there. Uh, almost an ounce out of the t out of the almost uh, two and a half ounces that were there we'll get you up to about 17 cents again if you could hit this with a hammer and put, put a screwdriver in the center pull it out really quick do that in about 20 seconds you'd be looking at a difference of about $24 an hour similar one just smaller as is about a cent, separate it out, and you're looking at a nickel. Got one more here, a little bit of a different guy. You probably end up having to unravel this by hand. Then you get a little bit of copper there. So as is, again about a cent, and then about a nickel. So it's, it's, a, it's about the same as this one, price-wise. But this one, these one, keep in mind, you're probably gonna be able to unravel it a lot faster. If you could do this one in about a minute, you're looking at about two and a half, two point six dollars an hour, I think it was. And a few other examples, transformers, that I don't do anything with. They're either sealed or wrapped up. By the time you, you, you tried to break into these and unravel them, any profit you would have would would be out the window. So hopefully that helps you answer those questions. Uh, happy scrapping.